Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can sign a document that's been sent to you without having to print it out, sign it, and scan it again. I want to use HelloSign for this. Now, you can use HelloSign as a standalone website. There's also a Google Drive integration available for HelloSign, and we'll take a look at how to use it in both ways here. I'm going to go ahead and get started by logging in. I'm going to sign in with the Google account. And we're going to use my dog Max's Google account here for this demonstration. And now in here, you can use HelloSign for free for as many documents as you want. However, if you want to send documents to others and have them sign it and send it back to you, you can only send three documents per month for free, and then you have to upgrade. So I just use it as a just for me scenario. So the, what we need to do first is create a signature for ourselves. So let's create a little signature. And we can do our signatures in a couple of ways. We can try to draw it in. And let's say I want to try to sign my dog Max's name here. And we'll just say Max. And that's not great. We could try typing it in, and we can say max, and then we can change fonts down here, and we'll go that way. We try out a bunch of different ones. We'll go with that. You can also upload an image file or grab one from your phone. So we're going to use the typed in method of max burn. There we go. And we'll save that as the signature. Perfect. So now let's say we want to sign a document. We'll select just me. And we can pull our files from Google Drive, Dropbox, Box. You can even pull them from OneDrive. Or we can go ahead and upload a file. So in my case, I have a file that I'm going to upload from the desktop. And it's just a generic blank W9 form that needs to be filled out. And we can see here the file is now converting. Let's go ahead and fill it out. So Max the dog needs to fill out his W9 form. We'll select text up here at the top. We'll fill in Max's name. If we wanted to use check marks to check off things, we can say Max is filing his taxes as an individual. And we can go back to typing again and fill in his address, the dog house. Okay. We can fill in his dog ID. And then down here at the bottom, we'll have his signature filled in. Select the signature and insert it and then we can stick in the date. So let's select date, and there we go. Perfect. So now Max's file is complete, and over here on the right hand side we can see download file, and we'll download the file. And now Max can use that PDF wherever he wants to use it. He can send it as an attachment, he can print it out, he can do whatever he wants with it. So that's one way to use HelloSign. Now, HelloSign in Google Drive, and I have it installed in my Google Drive, so just go to More, and I'll select HelloSign. And it's going to work exactly the same way. Just need to authorize it. Again, Selecting the account that we're going to use. And the process will work exactly the same way it did when I just started the website. So that's HelloSign. It's a great way to digitally sign your documents and send them back to people. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.